Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in there. Welcome back. <laughs> the last couple of videos have been about famous DJs doing the signs, symbols, and pushing the agendas. I don't know all these famous people, like, not obviously not personally, but I need to look at lists of people. And then you look at a list of them, go to their social media, check some other websites, and see what they put out to the world. I'm not judging them unfairly. The world is fallen. It's in a fallen state. We're told in the Bible, and the Bible is true, that Satan is the small g god of this world. Many would probably call him Lucifer. This world is run by Freemasons. There's other secret societies, but it seems to be all a branch of Freemasonry. If you don't realize this or know this, please research and don't just go, well, I looked at a one video where I read this in a book. And you need to research with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And you can't be scared of what people might say about you. They might call you crazy or mentally ill or delusional or a conspiracy theorist. Oh, heavens no, eh? You need to not really care about what people say about that when it comes to this topic, because it's the truth. This stuff helped me to find Jesus Christ and to know that the Bible is real and true. And it's something I can put my trust in. So, brothers and sisters, this is Mariana Bow. She is a DJ. She's doing the vow of silence, the sign of Hippocrates. She's wearing the Freemason checkerboard. She literally has the Eye of Horus tattooed on her arm. And she plays the electric cello. And if I play the electric cello, or I play the guitar, but... I've never put it over one eye and posed for a photo like this. She's doing the Eye of Horus. She's doing this. Some would say the Eye of Horus, the Eye of Providence, the Eye of Ra. It's the Eye of Satan. All those false gods and deities are just one big branch of Satan. If you don't believe this once more, please research this. Have you tried praying to Jesus about this? And if nothing clicks in a day, you just give up? You should ask Jesus Christ to show you the truth, to open your eyes, and be serious about it. God knows when you're being very serious, or when you're just, like, doing lip service to something. So she has the Eye of Horus tattooed on her arm, and she's doing the Eye of Horus here, darkening one eye utterly, doing one eye symbolism. Which eye is she doing? This one. Here is another DJ, Renier Zonderfeld, Zonerfeld, Zonerveld doesn't really matter what their name is. Like, to me, it's just another celebrity that's sold out. Do you see how he's doing the Eye of Horus as well there? This triangle is strategically placed over one of his eyes. This is the same thing, and this has to do with the third eye, if it's not confusing enough already. Once you get to know this stuff, you, you know the signs and symbols. They put them out there. The third eye, that's why meditation and yoga and the chakras and right your ener the energy systems in your body that God doesn't want us to mess with, we have them for a reason, but God knows that reason, and we are not to activate them or open your third eye or pineal gland. These are demonic things. Please research about it. There's the eye of Horus again, like I've said. The eye of Horus again. The eye of Horus again. His eye is in the triangle, in the pyramid. That's what he's doing. He's doing it again there. Is this just a coincidence over and over? These things surely have no reason, right? There's, there, there's no meaning to this stuff. Don't you dare research. He's doing 666 in the Eye of Horus. He's doing 666 in the Eye of Horus. He's got 666 on his hand. Or he's just saying it's A-OK -okay in the world. No problems. No, you don't need to use discernment or anything. He's throwing up the devil horns. You know, as in Satan, the devil. It's a, it's a curse sign. Anton LaVey of the Church of Satan explained what it is. He's got Church of Club Music, and he's throwing up the devil horns there and doing some kind of religious pose. I don't think he's supposed to be like Jesus Christ here, but it looks like he's religious. It's got the church there. The only true church is the body of believers that believe in Jesus Christ. That is the church, the bride of Christ, the body of Christ. Here's some nice artwork he has. Hey, what's that up there again? The eye of God in the sky, except it's the small g God, Satan, Lucifer. And it's the Baphomet goat-headed deity. The eye of Horus is the eye of Satan. And they put it out there, and it's not even really hard to find this stuff. He's wearing a NASA sweater. They don't fake space or anything. Taking God and the Bible literally out of the world. 
right? Space goes on forever. It's constantly expanding. There's black holes and all this stuff. That's not in the Bible, but it's for sure there, right? Because man and woman say so. But it's in a textbook. It has to be true. The Bible is the truth. Are you going to believe God's word or the liar Freemasons of this world? He's out in fake space enjoying himself. He's out in fake space again. And look, he's lost in fake space. Freemasonry goes along with this lie. This is Satan's world. Too many people believe in it. Honestly, you have scales on your eyes from Satan, and you're brainwashed into believing a false reality. You can say what you want about me. You can think I'm nuts or I'm wrong or whatever, but most people who do that have never read the Bible for themselves. They've never bothered researching what the heliocentric model is. You know the heliocentric model. <clears throat> the world we all totally live in, right? The sun's 93 million miles away. And it's at the center of the quote-unquote universe. Or the sun and moon are local and they're right there. And we live in a flat, motionless, domed earth that God made. It's in the Bible. If you look for it, it's not even that hard. A lot of people won't take the Bible literally, and if they read about the firmament, what is that? It's just the air and some clouds? It's a glass-like dome that covers the earth. Antarctica is a wall of ice that encompasses the, the flat earth. It's still round, but it's not a ball. It's round and flat like a pizza. If you go... We're not allowed to research or travel in Antarctica. Antarctica is not a continent. It's an, it's an ice wall that circles the earth. And you can't, go, you can't go there. There'll be military planes and other things that will stop you from going there. Because if you go to the Antarctica and start walking for I don't know how long, but if you keep going, you will run into the dome, the firmament. That's what covers the earth. People cannot leave this earth until God takes us out of here. If you want to go with God and get out of this crazy place, you must have faith in Jesus Christ, his finished work on the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection, according to the scriptures. It really is the truth. It's the meaning of life. It's for salvation, forgiveness of sins. How many sinners are there in the world? There's like five, seven, carry the two. Everyone's a sinner except Jesus. He's the only person that lived a flawless life. He gave, his, he gave himself as a sacrifice for sin, and all of us are sinners. That's the way to heaven and forgiveness. He died and shed his precious blood so we can live. If you accept that, you have faith in him, then you will be saved. If not, you think you're a good person? You're not a good person. The Bible tells us this. Do people do nice things and are kind? Yes, we should all strive to do that. But when you compare it to God and how good and holy he is, we fall way short. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.